What's going on guys? You're watching Ninja Lifestyle. Today, we're setting up a new board. As we set it up, I figured I'd just hang out here and bullshit with you guys about some random topics. Kill some time. Uh, by the way, I finally broke a board. You can't see it. Uh, maybe you can. I finally... Oh, there it was. There's a crack right there. I finally broke a board. Now you're probably thinking, oh, I see broken boards all the time. Oh, I see broken boards all the time. Well, usually I break boards from getting mad, getting upset. But I've been really getting into trying to relearn kickflips downstairs, which for most of you guys is probably an easy trick. And there was a time in my life when it was an easy trick, but lately it's been it's been really, really difficult to kickflip down some stairs, even if it's like a four stair. It's been really hard. It doesn't make any sense. My kickflips are good. I can kickflip flat ground. I can kickflip up things. But for some reason, when it comes to like a gap or a stair, I think it's all mental. I just forget how to do it. So I've been practicing that, and I finally got the catch down so I can catch it and bring it down and uh broke a board in the process so it's kind of cool and it's kind of weird because I can nollie heel flip stairs I can switch heel stairs nollie back heel front side flip hard flip I can do all these tricks downstairs but when it comes to kick flips not so good I'm learning them back so that's the story as to how this skateboard broke oh we're on the last one here by the way, this is a Cake Muscle skateboard. You can buy one today at cakemuscle.com. Okay, looks nice, right? We got a police helicopter flying by. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys. Oh, by the way, we're back to clear grip tape. We're back to clear grip tape, people. I know you're excited. Las Vegas, King Ice, Silver Trucks, free war machine. War Machine's a pro fighter that just went to, uh, to jail for beating on, almost murdering his girlfriend. So it's like a domestic violence joke. We got Coach McGurk there. We got tits. We got tits. We got tits. Am Skater, Doug Desautels, Ninja Lifestyle sticker. And then it says free Ray Rice, but then free is, is crossed out. And then it says reinstate Ray Rice, which uh, another domestic violence joke. So it's pretty much just to uh, get people all riled up. I'm sure there's going to be at least one female I run into at the park or out skating that says, what you, you think this is funny? You think this is funny? And then I just say, ah, well, that's, you just fell into my trap. <laughs> now I do. Now I think it's funny. Uh, yeah, I'm back to clear grip. The only reason I didn't have clear grip was because at Woodward... Uh, I had to change the board at Woodward, and I don't know. I don't know if they had it. I didn't have my clear grip on me. I had it. I left it home. I just cut my, just cut my finger on something. So I did want to talk to you guys about this video I recently saw of a scooter trying to trying to hit like a foam pit. Okay, and if somebody has a link to the video, please post it in the comments below. It's a scooter, and he tries to drop in on this ramp, and then he hits a launch ramp, and he's supposed to land in the foam pit. You know, one of the easier things to do in life. That's why foam pits exist, because if you're not quite good enough to do the trick, you can learn it in a foam pit. So the scooter rolls down, he completely misses the launch ramp, goes sideways, misses the foam pit, and lands in like, in like the dirt on his back. Completely eats shit. And I thought to myself, like, this represents the entire scooter community because, number one, had that kid been on a skateboard, he would have died. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have climbed up to the top. He would have known that it was, it was too hard. And it all goes back to what I say about people who ride scooters. When you're younger or, say, you're new to action sports and you say, you know what, I want to get into this. I want to do something. I want to ride something and do tricks on it. So you get like, you know, four or five choices. You get your skateboard, your rollerblade, your BMX, 
and your scooter. Now, in the mind of a, a scooter, they look at it and they say, wow, this stuff would be really hard, you know? Like, think about it, a skateboard, that's pretty tough to do. You gotta learn how to ollie, you gotta learn how to balance going sideways. Rollerblading is a little bit different because it's kind of like walking, but even that, you know, rollerblading would probably be the second easiest. BMXing, like you think about it, to learn how to ride a bike, that's already a task just to learn how to balance. Not only that, you need like some physical strength to be able to do the tricks. So you think, okay, all those options are out. How about a scooter? All you need to do to be able to ride a scooter is to be able to walk. And there's probably a kid out there somewhere with some sort of degenerative leg disease who can't even walk, who can still scooter. And that's what I say about this. What type of people choose the easiest route? People that are afraid of challenge, people that are afraid of hard work. I mean, this kid was afraid of a foam pit. Either that or he didn't even have the cognitive balancing skills to make it to the bottom of a ramp, which, like I said, the only prerequisite for being able to do this is walking. He couldn't even do that right. And I feel like that represents scooters as a whole. Let me put it like this, okay? Let me give you guys a little, a, a little metaphor, a little analogy. You just get a new Mortal Kombat game, okay? You take it home, you put it in the game system, you're excited, okay? And as a skateboarder, you put it in, you see arcade mode, you hit start, you start playing. It's all good, we're all having a, having a blast, having fun, fighting. You know, I'm gonna be Liu Kang with the kicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If you're a scooter, you get the game, you're excited, you put it in your game system, loading screen comes up, you see the home screen, you see arcade mode, but what do you do? You go right to options and you click easy. Okay, that's what, that's what I mean. Now I'm sure the comments are gonna say, well I'm a scooter and I just got Mortal Kombat and I didn't click easy. Well, you're, you're one of the, the outliers, okay? Because I'm sure most of you guys based on what I've seen in real life, which by the way, actions speak louder than comments. Just based on what I've seen, these are the type of people that prefer not to work hard, which is why they chose scootering in the first place. And it's one of those things where I've had this argument before and they're like, well, you're reaching, you know, that's really hard for, for you to say what, what they were thinking when they got the, you know, the, the scooter. And it's like, well, it's kind of like human nature too. And on top of that, I've been doing this a long time. I've met the scooters, I've known the personalities. I'm sure that you know one or two that are cool, but let's, let's speak in 80-20s, okay? 80% 80 of them are afraid of hard work, which is why the only trick you'll ever see at most skate parks is a tail whip, okay? Which anyone, anyone can learn a tail whip in one day versus put somebody on a skateboard, you can barely roll down, you know, a driveway on your first day. There's a huge learning curve, which to someone who's afraid of hard work is really intimidating. So those are just my thoughts. Let me know if you agree or disagree in a comment below. Uh, and this will be one of those videos where I'll be responding to the comments more than usual, just because I want to hear what you guys think. Either way, whether you support them or, or you don't support them, uh, this board's all pretty much put together. Looks good, by the way. Silver Trucks, uh, shout out to Silver. That is my truck sponsor. Uh, wheels, I just get whatever, whatever I can find online for cheap. I think these are mini logo wheels, whatever that means. Bearings, I get whatever's cheap, usually reds, but I also rock FKDs. And uh, of course, a cake muscle board. By the way, you can get a cake muscle board at cakemuscle.com. Uh, I wanted to address one more thing before we wrap this up. Is uh, I think Facebook changed up the design for a lot of the pages. You know, not the personal pages, but the other pages, like the Black Ninja page. And for some reason, it makes it harder for you guys to send me messages and stuff like that. I used to get people leaving funny videos and stuff like that you know, dozens of times a day. And now it's down to like two or three times a day. I do respond to you guys. So if you think about it, if you ever wanted to send me a funny video or 
comment on a video directly to me instead of doing it on the video if you wanted it to come straight to me you can always find me on facebook just type in black ninja and i'm there anyways guys i hope you enjoyed me just bullshitting while setting up a new board coach mcgurk man he's got some good life advice people uh if you guys want me to do more of these let me know i can bullshit like this for hours at a time but uh i think it'd be fun if we do this every time i set up a board aside from that guys kuna matata Bitches.